All right. You ready to get rolling? Let's see here. Got a new, got my actual, like, my podcasting mic set up. So hopefully we get a little bit better audio this week. I think you guys should like it a little bit better anyways. Oh, man. Vincent. I'll roll with Matt Campbell again. Choose to kick. Hmm. Uniforms versus LSU. So they're going to use their white. I would assume. It's a good question, actually. Nope. Yeah, so they're going to use their white uniform. So we'll go... We'll go all red. Actually, let's do red, red, black. Just for fun. We haven't done that. We haven't done that combo yet. Oh, we have a we have a request for all blacks. We'll go since someone has an opinion, we'll go all black. All right. Let's see here. I think we're about ready to rock and roll. Okay, grab a bite of pizza here real quick. All right. Let's do this. Iowa State, LSU, eight minutes. Actually, let's get rid of the accelerate clock. Um, well, let's play in the national championship. Seems only fitting. All right. Oh, man. I never get tired of seeing the All Blacks in a video game. Never get tired of it. Oh, that reminds me I got to change my depth chart. Because Kane should be back there. I really need to remember to do this before the game. <laughs> One of these times I will. I don't know exactly when, but sometime. So, well, the slot cornerback, that's fine. So, linebacker, I want that to be Jake Hummel. Then we'll go punt returner is going to be Tariq Milton. Kick returner is going to be Kane Niwangu. I think backup, backup linebacker, I want to be Jake Hummel. I think we're about ready to rock and roll. Okay, give us the read option. Let's see what happens. They're letting us go. Brock Purdy, yeah, we'll get out of bounds. That's fine. Okay. I think this game I'm going to try to do a better job of keeping sticking with the run. Sometimes they get away from it too quickly. Ah, I messed it up. Should have bounced it outside. Let's run that again. Ooh, I like that. Nice wide defensive line. Hopefully some good run blocking. Good enough. Yeah, run a little play action. See if we can maybe get Tariq Milton on that cross. See what that... The safety on the right side there does. He's got. Oh, he's coming in. Tariq. Oh, Tariq. He's going. Get moving. Get moving. Oh, touchdown, Tariq. Let's go. That's how we start this thing off. Absolutely. Love it. Great way to start the game off. Get him wrapped up. Okay. All right. So here's where the 
here's where the the tricky part comes in because LSU's defense was they were good, but they weren't like they weren't the best part of the team. Obviously, uh, that would be Joe Burrow. So let's say, ooh, under center, huh? Yeah. I suppose we're playing an SEC team. That only makes sense. Uh, let's see here. Damn it. Found a nice little zone. Hmm. Two running backs. Oh, I don't want that. I want well, a zone blitz. Marcel Spears, maybe? Boom! There we go. Or a screen? Yeah, okay. I thought thought that was a screen. So for anybody that's watching the stream, um, let me know who do you think for the 2020 season, for next season, who do you think is gonna be who's who do you think is gonna be the breakout player on offense? Oh, Mike Rose. Oh, he almost picked it off. So give me your give me your breakout player on offense. Who do you think it's gonna be? Um if my opinion, I think your breakout player, um, I'm looking at either Darian Porter or Xavier Hutchinson, I think. I think either one of those guys is extremely talented. And, well, I guess it depends on if you're counting Sean Shaw. If, if you're counting Sean Shaw as a guy that has a breakout candidate, um, then probably Sean Shaw, because I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be put into that into that kind of that primary outside receiver uh, role that we saw with, with Hakeem and Alan Lazard. Um, but there's an argument, I suppose you could, as you could say that he kind of sort of half broke out last year um, just because of how many, how many targets he ended up seeing. Let's see here. Brock, Brock, uh, you son of a bitch. Oh, eat shit. Let's go, Brock. Let's go. Oh, baby. <laughs> Pump fake Brock Purdy comes stiff arm Brock Purdy. All right. Let's see if we can hit uh, hit Brees on this. Ooh. I know this is an RPO, so I got to be careful. But I like that wide line right there. Let's go like right there. Ah. Damn. All right, let's see. Let's go back to that slant out. So you can see they're running that again, but I still like it. Breeze on that uh, on that slant or on that angle route there should be pretty good. Oh God, what's the what could possibly be the call? Holding. Oh yeah, because I <laughs> said Josh Kniffel. Yep, he was about five yards downfield, just obliterating that defensive tackle, and we can't be having that. So in this one, for anybody that hasn't seen play, this particular play, I like to watch the safety that's over top of Tariq Milton there. And if Tariq, and if he stays up, then I catch either Charlie Kohler or Deshante Jones on their backside slant. Like Deshante Jones right there. Ooh, he almost got out of that. Let's see here. Let's get another one. Okay. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave Charlie Kohler on the underneath route there instead of the slant, just because I only needed a couple yards. Yep. Okay. We'll go to some middle high low. So this one, Charlie Kohler's easier. We can see what Tariq Milton does there because that safety sometimes will come down, and Tariq can beat his guy. So the trick. So safety stayed up. We'll hit Charlie Kohler right there. Perfect. Then I think we'll try to see if we can get another decent run play here. Yeah, we'll see. Ah, not much, not much going on there. Like Tariq on that slant. Oh, love it. There we go.
for another play action here. Maybe, maybe Charlie Kohler. We'll see. So we'll have Tariq stop there and come back. Oh, hmm. That sucks. Second and 17. This double post is interesting. So we'll see what that safety over top of Milton does. If he fades outside, we'll hit we'll hit Milton. If he doesn't, we might hit Petway. So he's going outside, but that linebacker's coming back. Uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of it. Hmm hmm hmm. What to do? What to do? What to do? Let's go back. So the nice thing about this middle high low is that we can run Petway straight up. We'll run Charlie Kohler across the middle, and we'll keep an eye on Deshante Jones. Okay, so we'll hit Kohler. Okay. And because we can, we're going to go for it. And we're going to use my trail shake here. Oh, why is Eric Horn there? Because I forgot to change the tight end. So let's change the depth chart here. I really need to just change this permanently. So Eric Horn, Chase Allen needs to be there. Okay. Oh, I got Charlie Kohler back in there anyways. Okay, so we're running him on the slant. So he's backing up. Charlie Kohler. Touchdown? Hey, there we go. All right, this is the part of the game where I seem like I always end up slacking off and then I give up a few touchdowns, but we'll see what happens. I'm trying not to do that. Run something up a little bit closer. Oh, I see. Oh, I knew it was gonna happen. I need to figure out the big, uh, the big hit. It's a problem. I always end up doing it too early, and then I blow the tackle every time. See what we can get with Kane here. Not much. I think I want to try to test him deep. Let's get to see if we can get Tariq Milton out that way. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Love it. A little bit of dagger concept. We touched a little bit on this in the film room last year. The idea here is that you hit Petway kind of on this here because this, it, Milton is supposed to take the safety or take the safety off the top. Okay, right there. Yep, just like that. No! Oh, come on. Uh. Terrible. All right. Took away his options.
Oh, good lord. They're really good at hitting those underneath routes. All right. Uh, there we go. See if we can get a sack. Love to get a sack here. Yeah. We got three, third and three. Let's do it again. We'll press them this time, throw off their timing a little bit, hopefully. Mike Rose, big time sack. There we go. Love it. I don't know if we can get something with Tariq here. Nope, not even close. 10-yard line. That's a good punt. All right, let's see if we can get Brees Hall going here. Maybe bounce this outside. We'll see what that linebacker does, That out the right linebacker. Oh, or if the tight end is just going to leave his dude. Let's. They're they're kind of not really playing Purdy on this read option. Oh, but it's a wide front. I hate these wide fronts. Okay, so they run blitzed. So that's worth noting for sure. We're going to line up in the run again by zone. So they're probably not blitzing. Ah. They're playing up. Let's run a play action here. Son of a... I think Charlie Kohler might have been open. I missed him. Keep an eye on the safety over top of Tariq. He's staying up. But Deshante Jones is going to be open. Just like that. Oh, but he dropped it. Let me tell you. All right. Fourth and 13 on my own 21. Never punt. Tariq Milton could be open here, depending on what his corner does. Yep. Oh, damn it. I thought I let him far enough upfield. Go. Job by Jamal Johnson there. Switch to a blitz. Effective run blitz. I like it. All right. Let's see if we can stop these guys. They like to run some of these short routes here. Yeah, just like that. Ooh, but he missed it. Interesting. Field goal time? <gasps> Javion Morton, yes! Let's go! Mike Rose! It's Mike Rose! Let's go! Come on! Hustle, hustle, hustle. Mike Rose, let's go! Mike Rose! Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal.
All right. Got the first down. Let's try it again. I imagine, Mike Rose, you are tired. <laughs> Mike Rose is going to yak on the field. He's so tired. <laughs> There we go. Who got there? Ray Lima. Very good. Love it. Ugh. Man, that was a good throw. Can't do much about that. Well, if I remember correctly, the last update to this Put Joe Burrow at like a 99, I think. He's really good. <laughs> well, that's uh, Randy Moss's kid. Well, McDonald, somehow, like, out at the edge in coverage. Well, hell, let's try to block this one. Nailed it. All right, LSU gets the ball back at halftime, so maybe we, hopefully we can get some yardage here. I want to see if I can get Tariq Milton open over the top in this. That's a good old. That was a. That was a. That was a Madden play. <laughs> okay, let's see what that safety does. If he drifts outside, which he did not. Deshante. Okay, let's see if we can push something downfield. Yeah, we'll go verticals. Why not? But we'll send Tariq deep and bring Brees on a slant. Oof. Let's see. Let's see what that left safety does. So he's just going to back up. Deshante. Oh, yes, please. All right. So we're going to take a shot at the end zone here. And if it doesn't work, then we... Oh, hello. If it doesn't work, then we go for the field goal. Well, that's something. Oh, but he dropped it. We'll take another one here. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Deshante. Problem is, I don't know if I'll be able to get up. Because this game doesn't let you hurry up. Fuck. Hmm. Well. That sucks. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well. Can't be too mad about 2110. Ryan Vance got off his block nice and quick. And then Jamal Johnson had to screw it up. Yeah. I'm okay with that. We sat on underneath guys pretty well. There we go. Good pursuit. Yes. Good coverage. Jamal Johnson for the sack. Boy, if we could get a nice punt return here, that would be really great. Nope. That's all right. A little read option. Keep an eye on the defensive end. He stayed standing, so we're going to hand it off. Brees Hall. There we go. Let's keep hitting them with the read option. They're really struggling to defend that. Ooh, but they have one linebacker there, so we're going to run. We're just going to run it with Brees. There we go. Brees. Oh, God. Okay, so now that we've given it to Brees a couple times, hmm, let's go play action because I think they're running. They're going to try to do something here. Oh, that's going to be bad. Oh, just kidding. Wow, what a bad play by, <laughs> by, that, by that defensive back. That's fine. I'm okay with getting lucky. All right. Defensive end. Keep an eye on him. He chased in, so Brock Purdy. There we go. Nice little rush there. We'll read option again. Oh, one linebacker. We're giving it to Breeze. God. I'm having fun just running at this drive. Okay. A corner being that wide is a little bit worrisome, but... So he tucked in, and Charlie Kohler didn't block anybody. But I think I got the first down. Nope. 
That's all right. Uh, let's go quick pass here and give it to Tariq on a slant because I think they're bringing those two linebackers. Yep. Touchdown. There we go. This is going a lot better than I was expecting. Like, way better. Now, granted, LSU's defense... Like I said, they were they were okay, um, but they weren't like they weren't anything like they weren't like a special defense. Like they were a very very middle of the road defense. Just their offense was amazing. So if you can bottle up their offense, then uh, you have a shot. Let's get a blitz here for no reason at all. I didn't go fast enough. Braxton Lewis is there to clean it up though, so that's okay. Go to cover three. We'll drift over. Let's see here. Oh, come on, Orion Vance. There we go. Had nice coverage. Shout out to Eric James for the Valentine's Day Massacre uh, comment. Because that is kind of what's happening here. Except for it's not Valentine's Day. But that's okay. We are playing well. Make a tackle. Mike Rose just straight up missed the tackle. But, you know, can't win them all. Third and 18. They got a long ways to go and not a lot of time to get there because I'm going to bring the house. Yes, Mike Rose. There we go. Very good. Fourth and 25 and they're going for it. Let's just play a man up. Oh, Anthony Johnson. Wow. What a pick. All right, we are going to chew some clock. We'll keep running that read option. I had a lot of success with that. Let's keep an eye on the defensive end. He's tucking in. So Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy is going down in bounds. All right. Read option again. Going with the wide front, so we'll run it. Hmm, that sucks. Wide front, one linebacker. We're going to run it. Nice little gain there. Narrow front. Stay with the read option. Watch the DN. He stays standing. We hand it to Brees. They're blitzing. They brought those safeties up, so let's get Petway on a slant. Right there. I actually meant to throw it a little bit, <laughs> a little bit sooner, but... That's okay, because it's a touchdown. Thirty-five ten. That works. That works.
Fortunately, that running back picked up Mike Rose. Let's see. So let's just run here. Man, someone make a tackle. Daytron Young? Ooh. Damn. Fortunately, not much I can do. Oh, 136, are they just going to kick it? No, of course they're not. Wait, onside recover? Or not. Yep. Way to go, Lawrence White. He saved the day. All right. I like it. Watch that defensive end. They tuck in. Take it with, whoa, with Brock. Yeah, I knew that was going to be bad. Oh, yeah, see, I got cocky. I got I got cocky and that's my own fault. <laughs> I tried to I tried to I tried to juke with Brock and he apparently doesn't have as good a juke move in this game as he does in real life. Of course this game this mod really did Iowa State dirty by not giving them any superstars. But I like I said I think I might try I think I said it last time but I think I might try to dive into the code on the superstars file for this mod and see if I can get, see if I can add an X factor to Brock, Brock for sure. Maybe give, maybe give, uh, maybe like zone Hawk to great, to Greg Eisworth. Oh my God. Wrap him up. And then I don't know, maybe, maybe like first one's free to Brees. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like Brees needs, I feel like Brees should, like, deserve, um, yeah, I think he deserves to have something that gives him an ability to break tackles. He, he always breaks a bunch of tackles. Deshaun Young, always... For whatever reason, Daytron Young always seems to come up with the, the dagger interception at the end of the game. No idea why, but he does. Could I kneel? Sure. Could I try to redeem myself with Brock Birdie and get him a bunch more yards? Also, yes. And they tucked in. Fortunately, that guy didn't do his job. We're going to stiff arm? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Let's do... Oh, they're gonna make me run it out. All right, hey, but that is that is a, a national championship win for Iowa State over LSU. Time to get juicy. Seventy-two point seven, four touchdowns, two hundred fifty-five yards, no interceptions. That might be the first one of these streams that I haven't thrown a single interception. Very good. We got here eighty five percent for Joe Burrow. Brock Purdy and there you go, ninety one and ninety three yards for Brees and Brock. Seven for seventy three. Seven for seventy three. And they had a lot. He he didn't really spread it out very well. Actually, he did. Maybe I didn't spread it out, but I also ran it a bunch more than he did. 22, yeah, 22 carries to 8. They pretty much only passed. Yeah, Julia Jones, two sacks allowed. That's about right. All right, very good. Nice win there. That went a lot better than I thought it was going to, to be totally honest. 
Let's see. Who might we play next time? Well, we've got Kansas. We haven't played them yet. Um. Eh. It's kind of a boring opponent. We beat them. Hurricanes of Miami. Kind of a, another meh. Michigan's interesting. Michigan State. Eh. Minnesota. The uh, battle of the people that wanted Iowa, the Iowa State job. <laughs> And Nebraska. We've already played Nebraska. I already beat them. Northwestern, meh. I already beat Notre Dame. Ohio State. We could try Ohio State next time. I bet they're yes, I bet they're really good. Chase Young and Justin Fields. Yeah. So, well, anyways, want to thank everybody for watching yet another NCAA stream. Glad we ended up in a in a victory. So Everybody have a have a great rest of your evening. Go Cyclones.